Let a thousand sunflowers bloom, Romy. I want to start a business with you, oy, brother. Oy. I think it's been a few months since where season three ended and where we started. It's been a few months. They've had time to like actually put this idea together. They're trying to find funding. They actually they're they're talking out logos. They're close to this thing actually happening, and they've invested a lot. So you two are thinking we should be buying Pierce, huh? That's quite the fucking pivot. Now the idea that Chib and Ken have that Roman's apprehensive about uh, is. It's a good idea, it's a good pivot, if it was just a good business decision, but I think it's for emotional reasons which you're not supposed to like mix up, and I think that's why we end up with the number that we end up with at the end of the episode, because they just get carried away. They, they lose sight of it, it's not, it's no longer a good business deal, it's not smart business, it's just beat him, win. And I think Roman doesn't want to do that for a number of reasons. I think he likes the 100, he likes having this separate from dad. Don't want to go toe to toe with dad on anything, he's probably gonna lose, but also, I think by sticking with our own thing, just the three of us, there's no conflict, there's no enemy, there's nobody else we're fighting, it's actually just us. There could be infighting, but that stuff is kind of fun. And also, that gives us a way of like, possibly, at least for Roman, it's important, I'm not sure about the other siblings, it's important for him to keep up a relationship with his dad. He loves his dad, and I think he still holds on to this idea of family that, you know, since childhood, whatever was there, um, I feel like he holds on to more so than anyone else in the family. This just idea of family and sort of keeping it together. Are you scared of fighting dad? Am I scared of fight? No. Maybe, maybe that's in there, uh, but it's, it's, it's in there because not like I'm scared of dad or, you know, like we're gonna lose or anything, but more like, you know, that's our dad. I kind of want to hang out with him. Like, you know, it's his birthday today and we're not there. And I don't like that because I think it sucks to like, specifically not call him or see him on his birthday because we decided as siblings that if he's gonna cut us out, well then he can go f himself. Because I don't think Roman's comfortable with that. They might they might like that. I need a fire breather. You want help with maths. You really want me? I need you. It makes total sense to me. I mean it's in the trailer, but it makes total sense to me that Logan would reach out to Roman and help for Madsen because he knows that Madsen's a serious person and they want this deal to happen but he doesn't fucking speak Matson. he needs he needed roman remember he couldn't get Matson in the room to meet him he's fucking logan roy and he couldn't get this guy in the room roman had to go get him like he had to go fetch him at a party because he knows how to he can speak Matson. he can blag and talk to him he can get him so it makes total sense that that's the guy he would need and try to bring back i just had a little drink with naomi pierce last night for Shiv, there seems to be like, I have a set of rules and you don't have the same rules as I do and I'm allowed to go and see people if I want and you know, they're discussed. They're allowed to sort of check out their options with this kind of trial separation. But when it's so, um, so obviously thrown back in her face, or at least she thinks so, she doesn't know that it's definitely a date or anything like that, but she can suspect that it is and uh, yeah, I, I think that's that's that hurts her pride. I think it might be time for you and I to move on. I think it's kind of sad because she's not able to be vulnerable very easily, and so I think for for Shiv, there's a lot of like wanting Tom to stop her, wanting Tom to say, you know, this is this is not a good idea. We should definitely keep trying. We should blah blah blah. Uh, but it could, because if he does that, then she has the power. But he doesn't, and so there's a sort of, I guess, resignation to, all right, well, I guess this is it. We're not going to talk about things because she doesn't want to talk about things. Uh, we're not going to sort of fold back into an original power dynamic of her being on top and him being the, the secondary. Uh, and if we're not doing that, then I guess that's it. Well, <laughs> it's pretty sad.